Emergency Department, Flu Season, Florida, Emergency Nursing. Wash your stinking hands, er nurse says in viral video. Wash your stinking hands, er nurse says in viral video. Posted, February 3, 2018 7.32 p.m. Updated, February 3, 2018 7.32 p.m. By, CBS News. Email. Share this story on Facebook. Tweet this story. Plus one this story on Google Plus. Email this story. Pensacola, Florida. A nurse's Facebook rant about the cesspool of funky flu in emergency room waiting areas is getting a lot of attention. According to Catherine Lockler, 25 to 30 people often sit for hours in hospital waiting rooms as the worst cases get treated. First, Wash your stinking hands, Lockler says in a six-minute video that's been viewed 4.8 million times since she recorded it in frustration after a 12-hour shift during this particularly nasty flu season. The mother of four works in several emergency rooms in the Pensacola area in Florida's panhandle. Some of them are not true emergencies but they're waiting along with the flu right next to them. So guess what? Five flus came in, 15 flus walk out. It's great, she said sarcastically. They'll be back. Lockler told the Pensacola News Journal her intent was not just to vent, but to offer a constructive message from a health care professional's perspective. The biggest problem for me was seeing people come in to visit and not only being exposed to this awful flu virus, but not taking the correct precautions to get themselves disinfected before going out in the world, Lockler said. She said she's getting responses from around the world to the video she titled, After Work. Thoughts. In it, she says the flu is spreading like, wildfire. And offers suggestions for staying healthy. She demonstrates the magic trick of sneezing or coughing into the crook of an arm to avoid getting germs on your hands. Then she repeats it, in slow motion. My sleeve got the germs, my hands didn't, she said, holding up her hand. It's amazing to watch how many people come through the emergency room. Sneeze in their hands and, I watch, no one grabs the hand sanitizer. Lockler shares her horror stories, like the father who let his baby to crawl on the floor, and the softball coach who brought his whole team. If you have a team member from your softball team who is sick or injured, you do not bring the entire softball team in to check on them. Because guess what? Lockler said. You just got 15 new vectors, or carriers of the flu by them all walking in. Which I watched them all walk in last night, see their friend. And not touch the hand sanitizer. Not once. In fact, if you aren't sick, just stay home, she advises. So, don't bring your team in. Please don't bring your healthy children especially your newborn babies, into the emergency, she said. If you don't have what I call a true emergency, this would not be the time to come to the emergency room. Federal health officials said Friday 15 more children died of the flu over the past week and more states are reporting high levels of illness. In a briefing Friday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said the flu outbreak is responsible for a total of at least 53 child deaths so far this season. According to CDC Acting Director Dr. Ann Shuckett, there are most likely several weeks left of increasing flu activity this season. The CDC continues to recommend people get flu shots even though the vaccine's effectiveness is lower than in some years. Wash your stinking hands, see your nurse's plea for flu season.
Milton, FL, wash your stinking hands. That's the message from a Florida ER nurse as hospitals are swarmed with flu patients during a particularly bad flu season. Catherine Lockler, of Milton, Florida, posted a video to Facebook last week as she was leaving a 12 hour night shift. In the video, Lockler talks about the do's and don'ts during flu season and some common virus spreading behavior she has witnessed in the hospital, and that she advises against. So we are in the middle of something called flu season, Lockler says. I'm sure you all are very aware of what that is, but it is a really terrible flu season. The latest data released by the Federal Center for Disease Control and Prevention shows that the flu season has sent more than 14,000 people to the hospital and is blamed for at least 53 pediatric deaths. The flu is widespread in all but two states, Hawaii and Oregon. One of every 14 visits to the doctors and clinics were for symptoms of the flu. That's the highest level since the swine flu pandemic in 2009. Lockler explains flu is contacted through your eyes, your nose or your mouth, and it's spreading like wildfire, she says in the video. I don't know if I mentioned already but it's been a long night shift, she says. Before sharing some experiences she has personally witnessed in the hospital, Lockler changed the names and topics of the experiences to protect the not so innocent as she calls them. If you have a team member from your softball team who is sick or injured, you do not bring the entire softball team in to check on them because guess what you just got? Maybe 15 new vectors or carriers of the flu, Lockler says. In one instance, she saw each of a sick player's team members walk in during her shift. But not once did they use the hand sanitizer. Lockler, who works at multiple emergency rooms in northwest Florida, told USA Today in an interview that she intended to send the message from a healthcare professional's perspective. She said the biggest problem for her was seeing people come into the ER and be exposed to the flu virus but fail to take proper steps to disinfect themselves before going back out into the world. Lockler says the emergency room where she works is currently a cesspool of flunky flu. So please don't bring your team in, please don't bring your healthy children especially your newborn babies, into the emergency room, Lockler says. Adding that if you don't have a true emergency, this isn't a good time to visit the ER. Wash your stinking hands so you don't get all your babies sick, Lockler says. She demonstrated in the video how you can sneeze into your elbow so the germs don't get on your hands. My sleeve got the germs, my hands didn't, Lockler says. She notes many people don't practice safe sneezing techniques in the emergency room. They sneeze into their hands and don't use the hand sanitizer that is conveniently placed everywhere in the ER. She also reminds people to be patient in the ER if they have a long wait. Her final message to people going to the hospital is to thank the ER nurses, the regular nurses and the doctors treating patients. We don't get lunch breaks, we're exhausted, we're getting yelled at, she says. But we're still coming in and doing it every time. Lockler was not immediately available for an interview with Patch. Florida nurse holds live Q&A on Facebook after video goes viral. Pensacola, Florida. WKRG, Catherine Lockler, or Cat as she's known to her patients, is an energetic nurse and mother of four who found herself in her car recording a Facebook video after a 12-hour night shift. Wash your stinking hands so you don't get all your babies sick, she said in the video.
Lochler spoke to WKRG News 5 Thursday nearly a week after she made the post. In the video posted to her page. She also tells of an entire sports team who showed up to the ER when one player got sick. She says that not only exposed the other players, but everyone they come into contact with. I was frustrated and wanted to share my thoughts and my thoughts weren't out of anger but frustration that people will get the flu unnecessarily, she said. The video has gone viral which is something she prefers much more than a viral infection. The nurse from Milton in Santa Rosa County has received hundreds of messages from around the world and she's still shocked as the number climbs. I just giggle, she said. I go and smack my husband on the shoulder and go, look, look. Can you believe this? Lockler said a major issue has been patients going into the emergency room for something they could have gone to a clinic for by going to the hospital. They're exposing themselves to the flu. In part of the video, she says there is a cesspool of funky flu at the ER right now. Please don't bring your team in. Please don't bring your healthy children in especially your newborn babies into the emergency room. And if you don't have what I would call a true emergency, this would not be the time to come to the emergency room. Watch this. I'm going to teach you a magic trick. It's amazing, she said as she then pretends to sneeze into her arm. While she did it with a little bit of humor, Lockler said she's happy just to educate others on how easily the flu can spread especially in hospitals. The nurse says some people didn't like her tone but she wouldn't do it any differently. I might have offended people but it went viral and good information. Maybe because of the way I said it, has gotten to people who might not have gotten it. She's talking about getting t-shirts made that say, wash your stinking hands. Which now seems to be Kat's catchphrase. Her common sense advice is resonating with people across the country. Her post has been shared nearly 60,000 times and the video views are over 3 million.